Now the time has arrived, we are going to make a change in this My Team series. The AI are too fast in qualifying and I'm talking out of normality fast. You know, it's not realistic or possible, like humanly possible to match their pace in certain tracks. So we're going to go down to 108% AI only for qualifying. For the race, we'll go back up to 110 and that's going to be the pattern now for every single episode. If you haven't seen the previous one, by the way, I'll leave it linked up in the top right. But look at this. We have a massive, massive bombshell. Lewis Hamilton, the nine-time world champion, is calling it a day. He's retiring from Formula One and he will no longer continue after this season. So that's now three consecutive retirements in three seasons. We had Alonso season one, Raikkonen in season two, and now Hamilton in season three. In regards to upgrades, McLaren are on a rampage. They've closed the gap and they are pretty much a top team now which is insane so the battle for top spot is fierce we do have more upgrades on the way but generally speaking it's going to be a very intense battle heading into the second half of the season but i've got to say red bull look very strong now for practice i had one of my worst sessions i only scored 150 out of 450 points um, we really didn't have to pace and even with 108 you know i couldn't hit the programs so 110 would have been pretty much impossible to be honest but with that said, we move into the new revamped qualifying with that slightly more simplified AI. Hopefully we have a chance and we can actually compete for the positions we should be competing in considering we have a car that is the second best car on the grid right now as this weekend we've overtaken Mercedes. So you join me in qualifying. This is uh, uh, the first run in a short quality, but I wasn't happy with the lap. Um, it was a little bit scruffy through the chicane and I actually decided to abort and back off the lap because there's enough fuel to go for a second lap, so that's what we're going to do. And on my second attempt, we went for that chicane a lot better and we're actually up by quite a bit this time. So a much cleaner lap, already two turns up compared to the one that I abandoned. And now you can see we're carrying that speed uh, throughout the rest of the lap. End of sector two, we're going to set at 51.6. Currently, we're last place, but hopefully we'll change that very shortly, making our way into sector three tackling the 90 degree right and now this long left hairpin with a nasty bump on the inside on entry then use the pit entry to make the track as wide as possible as we then head into the final corner keeping it tight and then running it wide into that curb the arts open and across the line and it's going to be p11 ahead of russell and stroll but behind Sonoda and signs that lap though will be enough to move us into q2 quite a gap though between myself and carlos signs four tenths the next car ahead rosberg p7 and Red Bull 1-2, Gasly P4 as well. It just seems like since the new patch, Red Bull and Alpha Tauri have taken a massive step forward, especially Red Bull. They look very, very strong. And it's suddenly shifted from being Bottas being the man to beat to Red Bull and Max Verstappen. So we're now in Q2 and we're going to use a fresh set of soft tyres on our first run. And to be fair, it wasn't too bad of a lap. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, making our way through the final corner, we're going to see if we can uh, improve here as we cross the start finish we go p10 which isn't bad so now we're gonna jump on to the final run because we're still p10 heading on to our last lap everyone's currently on their warm-up lap and we're gonna see if we can make it to q3 for the first time in a while but this time i'll let you guys enjoy the engine sounds and hopefully this lap will do the job for us and we can move into the into q3 for the first time in a long time
And there we go then, a really good lap. We improved by two and a half tenths and up into P7. So very decent lap. Not a lot more time in it, to be honest. I was quite happy with that one. And it should do the trick, I think, or maybe not. Still, we get knocked out in Q2 and P11 for us, which is a real shame. We miss out by less than a tenth as Sonoda was the one to push us out of the top 10. Um, George Russell has a five-place group penalty, by the way. And Nico Rosberg gets through in P9. But yeah, a bit of a shame. Unfortunately, we didn't make it which is a bit disappointing. I actually genuinely thought the lap I did right at the end there was going to be more than enough, but the AI actually improved quite a lot on their final runs and a lot of cars did much better times. So uh, yeah, to be fair, it's not the end of the world. P11 is a very strong starting grid slot around here, so we'll make it work on the alternate strategy. So let's jump into the race and let's try and score some big points here at Hungary. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Rosberg, Valtteri Bottas, and Hamilton, Ricardo, Norris, Sonoda, and Charles Leclerc, Martinez, Sainz, Lance Stroll, and Latifi, Matsushita, Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi and Christian Lungard. Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, Vettel and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Now for this race, we're starting from P11 and to be fair, it's probably one of the better positions to be in for the race because we get the free tire choice which is very very powerful around this circuit arguably the most powerful one of the entire calendar so let me explain what's going to happen in this race so the top 10 are going to start probably on soft tires besides max verstappen they're going to go six to nine laps on softs and then they're going to box and rejoin into midfield traffic on medium or hard compound tires we are going to go long. We're going to go and maximize the medium tires and, you know, do at least 15 laps on those. And therefore, we're going to do an overcut. That overcut is going to mean that we rejoin back in the race lead and there on out pretty much see out the race in the hard tire in P1. That's going to be the plan. So we have a massive opportunity here today to get some points back in the championship and get back in the mix. So medium to hard, no rain forecast. Fuel is going to be just 0.1 over. We don't need a lot. This isn't a fuel heavy circuit. And yeah, we're going to jump into it and see if we can make that prophecy reality. Okay, let's do this. The lights are on. Let's make it a nice clean start. Oh, quite fast on the lights. Not too bad of a start. Reaction time wasn't great. We're going to go for the outside line here. Hopefully it works. Looks like everyone ahead on softs and everyone behind me is on mediums. The signs trust got the inside here. We're going to race them down to turn two. Can we hold the inside line? It's going to be close side by side. We're going to just run them out of road. And there we go. We get ahead. Sonoda and Leclerc here side by side. Nowhere for us to go, really, just a bit of a roadblock. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Don't want to lose the front wing. Looks like Rosberg's getting stuck in though with one of the McLarens up ahead. Thought about it there, but we're going to just be safe for now. There's no need to rush. The race will open up when the pit stops arrive. That's our time to shine. For now, we just got to try and keep tyres and be patient. If I get an opportunity, I will go for the move, but there's no need to commit to anything, you know, super aggressive or super rash as a uh, sign looking for the move here. On the inside, we're going to have to defend. We're going to go the long way around, which should get the drive. Inside line into the hairpin. Sign's still trying it, but we're going to just squeeze him off there and hold on to P11 for now. So, end of lap one. And so far, so good. Let's just make sure we stay ahead of signs into turn one which I think we will. We've got decent straight line speed. So there we go. Right. What we've got to do now is stay within a second of the cars ahead when DRS gets enabled. Just lacking a little bit of pace right now. I am on for a personal best, but I'm just outside of the one second window of Sonoda here. I don't think we're going to get DRS unless we absolutely nail it out of here. Yeah, I don't think we are. Gaps 1.1, 1 1.2. Just a little bit too far. Hopefully we can try and get back in though and fire back. Personal best though. 
Let's keep chugging along. That was a much better lap. It's three and a half tenths up. We've almost dropped signs out of DRS range. Matsushita can't keep up. One more lap like that and we should have DRS on Sonoda. Nico has come into the pits. He's in the pit lane now. Yep, Rosberg in along with Bottas. Some information on Matsushita. They seem to have an issue. Not really relevant to our race right now to be honest, but anyway, let's keep going. Sonoda pits. I don't know if I managed to nick the RS there. I don't think I did. Bit of a shame. I tried it every lap, just couldn't quite match the pace. Ricardo in as well. We're going to stay out, of course, with Carlos Sainz, who's running the same strategy as us this race. More cars in the pit lane. Lando Norris and Max Verstappen. Looks like they're going for the hard time. Norris has gone for the medium, which is a two-stop. Interesting. Still plenty of cars staying out, though. Not everyone has pit yet. Just trying to get the one-second gap to Sainz here. I'm close to dropping him. Had a bit of a poor hairpin there, but we've got... The remaining cars in the pits, I think I have dropped signs out of DRS range, and if I haven't, then it's pretty close. But this is us now moving up into P1 in this race. As I mentioned in the intro, and we're going to see what kind of pace we have on these. I don't think we're going to win the race, though. I think the midfield pack is too slow. Yep, and I think the Red Bulls are too fast. Gasly as well, he's in the mix. So, um, yeah, we're racing Perez and Verstappen today. And Gasly, I think. There we go, we've done it. We've dropped signs out of the one second DRS. And we're going to set a new personal best as well. 15.8. Got a yellow flag. Also, in the section two, I've just seen on the mini-map. Let's stay on board here to see what that may be. Might be a free pistol, and it may be a possibility to jump someone. Let's find out. Sebastian Vettel, out of the race. Master Shooter was hard as well, so... I think we're down to 20 cars. I shouldn't have managed to keep going, so my bad. I meant to pick this lap, but I'm thinking of changing my strategy. Tyre isn't that bad, I've only got like 35%. So I may swap to a soft tyre that's fresh later on in the race, about 10 laps from now. I think I'm going to go longer. Definitely. So we got our first one for track limits. There we go, there's the tyre wet. 35, 37. Not too bad. That's manageable. I think we're going to go longer. Why not? Let's just you know, take a chance to see what happens. Nico is just peeling off into the pits now. He's in the pits. So that's interesting. Rosberg pitting for a second time this race. So he's going for the more, let's say, less logical strategy, which makes no sense. Um, elsewhere, though, a bit of a sit rep update. The Red Bulls are pretty quick. They're catching up slowly. I'm trying to save fuel as we get our second warning for track limits now so I've got to be careful that exact same corner has caught me out twice now Red Bulls are closing in uh, Lando Norris P5 is two stopping so I think the front three are locked in I think Perez, Verstappen and Gasly are going to get the podium today can we finish P4 with a fastest lap maybe on softs that's kind of the goal really let's keep going right you know what I'm going to box Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. we're going to go a lap early soft tyres are fresh so we're going to use them here we go, into the pit entry. I've just seen the tyre icon come on this lap, so we're at least 60% wear over one of the tyres. But well, there we go, let's double check that real quick. So the rear left 60%. It's going to be close with Hamilton, I think. It depends if this is a good stop or not. This needs to be sub two second, and we may have a chance here. Here we go. go. Oh, I messed up the pull away, but I think we're going to be okay. It's going to be close. Stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Really close, but we're gonna make it. There we go, P4. The overcut has worked to perfection. And we've got Hamilton and Sainz Mazepin here. Not sure what he's doing with the blue flags. We're having to avoid a collision with him. But we've done it. P4. Now, can we get a podium? You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. Fuel's gonna be marginal, but. Gasly, 13 seconds up the road. Can we do it? Can the soft tyres hold on and not overheat? Let's find out. First and foremost, fastest lap. That's going to be the first bit of business to attend to. So let's crack on with that first. Well, I'm pretty sure this should do the trick. And an extra point is going to come our way today. Fastest lap of the race, 13.6. And I'm trying to save fuel. I'm, you know, I'm trying to not use too much. Hamilton already four seconds behind us. And um, we've got the gap to Gasly now, just over 10 seconds. Let's keep going. Let's see what kind of pace we have. 
Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to catch Pierre Gasly. We've tried, but the softs are just starting to lose the edge a bit, and I need to start thinking about saving fuel. So, I think P4 on a fastest lap is a decent recovery this afternoon. Hasn't been the most spectacular race. Hungary never really is, to be fair. So, yeah, I think we're just going to bring this one home and try and save the engine a bit as well. We've got plenty more races to fight, so we're going to play a long game here and just bring this one back home. Also, we're on two warnings, so I don't really want to get a penalty at this stage, just in case. Well, here we are, last lap of the race. We're literally just cruising the car home. I'm losing about a second and a half over the last two laps. I'm just trying to make sure we make it on fuel. It's going to be Perez, though, who wins, and that's a big surprise. for Verstappen P2 and Gasly P3, the Alpha Tauri as well, since the patch has really improved and they're constantly in the top 10 but here we go from p11 to p4 with the fastest lap i'll take that decent recovery and move on to the next one that's the end of the race we'll see you in park Ferme. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So there we go then, race done here at Hungary and Sergio Perez is a race winner this season ahead of Max Verstappen and I can't lie, Red Bull look unstoppable. Since the new patch, both Red Bull teams to be fair have taken a massive step forward and they get a 1-2-3 here today. We're finishing P4 with the fastest lap ahead of Norris, Hamilton, Sainz and Leclerc are both Ferraris in the top 8. Ricardo and Bottas rounds out the points here today. Missing out on the top 10, Sonoda, Russell, Rosberg on that pointless two-stop. Stroll, Giovinazzi, Lundgaard, Ocon, Latifi, Schumacher, Masashita, Mazepin and Sebastian Vettel. So, yeah, there's your race results. We're going to look at the championship now because things are going to shuffle around a bit. So, Verstappen is your new championship leader. We are currently P4, 58 points off the top. And now, instead of trying to beat Bottas, it's all about trying to beat Verstappen, which is a bit of an issue because he looks really, really fast right now and I can't see us stopping him. So, uh, we'll see what happens in the second half of the season though. In the constructors, we're chilling in p3 right now but red bull are now just 10 points behind mercedes and suddenly things have flipped and we're now chasing the silver arrows for p2 in both the drivers and the constructors overall though a decent day at the office but we're now going to move into upgrades and see what we can do heading into spa and monza in the power circuits well then, after that race, we managed to outscore Bottas again, so four points to two, which is pretty decent. And the gap is now just three points, and I actually think every passing race now is actually possible for us to win this rivalry. We've just got to make sure we keep getting those points, keep the car on the track, and, you know, cut out the bad results, which we've had for quite a while now, to be fair, this season. So, yeah, claim-wise, no big changes, of course, as always. And in payouts, it should be a full payout from all of our sponsors, which is awesome. And to go on top of that, we'll have a look at the damages. And we've got nothing. So a pretty decent, dare I say, flawless weekend all round for us. Um, cash flow pushing 20 million, so we can soon make some more facility upgrades coming very soon. Now the next race is going to be Belgium, but first of all, activities, we're going to quickly assign a driver promotion filming, that's all we can do. We have a press interview on the 4th, which I think I'm going to skip, just because I feel like it's the same thing every time, to be honest, and I don't really think it's worth anything, you know, from a content perspective. Uh, what we will do though is upgrades, now we've got 1800 points to spend, we've got one upgrade on the way for the chassis and the brakes, which is an ultimate one. We're going to go ahead and add another and I feel like the chassis might be the area we work on again. So I'm thinking um, hydraulics. We can't actually afford it to be fair. Now look at it. What about the engine? Can we do anything here? Fuel efficiency? Mm, not really. What about aerodynamics? 
we're running out of upgrades now guys, I can't lie, things aren't looking great. Uh, we've got this diffuser, 13% uh, discount, let's go for that, why not, let's get that on the car. And that will pretty much spend up all of our points. So, we've got a short turnaround to the next race, so let's jump into it and let's cut to a season break. And there we go then, that is going to be it for today's episode, we'll pick up where we left off in the next episode in regards to the season break so the start of the next episode will be picking up right here uh, but for now we're going to call it a day and say pause to the f1 calendar as we take a bit of a break at the mid-season stage of course a lot to digest you know hamilton retiring from formula one which is massive and hopefully with the new ai difficulty things can go a bit better for us in the second half of the season but nonetheless if you guys enjoyed today's episode then leave a like let's try to smash the like button over 1200 likes as the target i'm going to set you guys here today subscribe for more f1 content which is daily on my channel and my team which is more or less every other day and then finally as always a big shout out to the members of the channel and if you haven't done so already check out the two videos on screen and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care and it's goodbye from me